If I had to choose one chest exercise for the rest of my life, it would most definitely be the bench press, simply due to the fact that it hits the entire chest pretty well. But you're probably already doing a ton of benching. Yet, if your upper chest is still lagging behind despite bench pressing a couple of times per week, it might be time to make some adjustments to your chest training. Building a bigger upper chest not only gives you a larger appearance from the front, but can also add a lot of thickness to your physique from the side. Now, before we get into my top three exercises for targeting the upper pecs, let's quickly dig into the anatomy and biomechanics of the chest. The chest is comprised of two distinct heads, the clavicular head, also known as the upper chest, and the sternocostal head. Both heads converge into one and insert into the humerus. These two heads work together to perform horizontal adduction of the shoulder joint, or bringing your arms across your body. The clavicular head, however, also acts to flex the shoulder joint and internally rotate your shoulder. Now that we understand the basic anatomy of the chest and, more importantly, what functions the upper chest is responsible for, let's jump into my top three upper chest exercises for thicker pecs. Number one. Incline Barbell Press The incline barbell press is the king of all upper chest builders. This exercise trains both horizontal adduction and shoulder flexion, meaning it's a great exercise for targeting the chest, but particularly the clavicular head due to the high degree of shoulder flexion. To perform this exercise effectively, set the bench at a 45 degree angle as research shows this to elicit the highest activation in the clavicular head. Incline any more than this and you run the risk of turning this into a shoulder dominant exercise. Another great tip is to let the elbows flare a bit in order to achieve a higher touching point. This is unlike a normal bench press where your touching point is much lower, normally around the nipple line. Doing these two things turns the movement into what is known as a guillotine press. Although this may sound a bit dangerous, rest assured this movement is actually quite safe, and on top of that, is going to fry your clavicular fibers due to the angle they run at. Flaring the elbows also places the insertion point, the humerus, further away from the origin, the clavicle, leading to a greater stretch on the target muscle. If you really want to bring up your upper chest, make this incline press variation the focal point of your chest training and focus on progression. Number 2. Low to High Cable Flies Next up, we have a low to high cable fly, which focuses on the secondary function of the clavicular head, shoulder flexion. This exercise keeps the elbows in a good degree of extension, taking the emphasis off of the triceps, which are responsible for movement of the elbow joint, and instead isolates the chest. For the setup, start with the cable on the lowest setting and take two to three steps in front of the machine, leaving one leg in front of the other for stability. Raise the cables up, out in front of you, and focus on simultaneously bringing them across your body horizontally. Pro tip, think about bringing your biceps together at the top of the rep. This internal cue will really help you to get a greater mind-muscle connection with your pecs. When performing this exercise, you want to avoid too much momentum at the elbow joint as you can turn this into a biceps curl front raise combo. Another common error that shifts too much emphasis away from the chest is leaning too far forward as this places more of a stretch through the front delts rather than the pecs. Instead, stand up nice and tall and focus on getting into a degree of thoracic extension and externally rotate the shoulder as much as possible to maximize the stretch on the pecs. Number 3. Neutral Grip Incline Dumbbell Press with Rotation Lastly, we have the Neutral Grip Incline Dumbbell Press with a rotation at the top of the rep. The rotation is super important as this causes the shoulder to internally rotate, which allows for more of a shortened contraction. So not only do you get the previous advantage of the incline barbell press, but the dumbbells provide a greater range of motion and the added element of internal rotation. On top of that, the dumbbell variation offers the added option of being performed as a unilateral exercise. 
if one side is weaker or smaller than the other you can use this variation to fix those imbalances so there you have it my top three upper chest exercises for building bigger thicker pecs if you're following a split that targets each muscle group twice per week as i advise here's how i'd implement these exercises into your training in order to focus on upper chest development day one strength incline guillotine press five sets five reps neutral grip incline dumbbell press with rotation four sets eight reps day two hypertrophy neutral grip incline dumbbell press with rotation three sets 10 to 12 reps low to high cable fly three sets 12 to 15 reps keep in mind these are just examples and recommendations may differ depending on the type of split you're running for best results aim to hit your chest twice per week while focusing on progression as long as you're training your chest frequently while gradually doing more work you'll have no problem building thicker pecs did you find this video helpful if so click the like button below as it'll truly help out the channel is there a muscle group you're struggling to build let me know in the comment section below and i'll make a video like this one and if you haven't already make sure you subscribe for more videos and don't forget to turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next one peace